There we go. It's weird, right? I've got my hair cut, like like loads. You can see more from the side, right? But from the front, I swear my hair just always looks exactly the same. What am I doing? Anyways. Oh, no, you all people. Oh, I don't care. Where have you gone, ready? I personally went patrolling last night in West End. Right next to me. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops in Rob. Especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Akon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I have been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? He did save me. He's a good lad. He's helped the whole bloody game, Swansea. You were spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. I try and do this one hand is difficult. You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me? For we his literally already had this conversation. Not. Literally had this Who conversation. Was Fergal. I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansha was my squire Bansha. of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Vulcod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Must have been the total lack of hair and wolf-like features that they don't. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals. Talk to people. all the leads you find Talk to people. and get results. Talk to people. I ain't killing. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Level four, I guess. Was there anyone at level 4 that I wanted to murder? I feel it was only level 5, and that was the priest back in the east end of the town. Let's have a little peek. Who was I going to kill? Barrett? Oh, I was going to kill Barrett. He's a bad man. I should go cure some people anyway. I need a... Um, yeah, okay. Where would they find me? I'm gonna go kill him. It's about time we ate someone. This'll be our third kill. I wanna say third kill. Mate, what do you want? Oh, I can't talk now. Go away. 
I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Okay, I want to head this way. I think I'll come back and talk to you lads in a little bit. I've got stuff to do. i got someone to kill, basically. Bad news, Barrett. Can I go through this? This looks like a quarantine thing to me. Maybe it only opens from this side. Nice. Look at that. It's such an immediate change in atmosphere. Okay, so we need to hit up a hideout. Uh, oh, I want to head north, don't I, really? Let's go that way instead. Stupid newborn! Why are you trying to kill me? I'm nice. Easy does it, boys. Go away. Okay, please tell me I can go through here. Lovely. Look at this. Knocking it up. Knocking it up. Knocking it out. Banging it out. Hello. No! <laughs> Oh, god damn it. I need to kill him. Which is fine. It's not difficult. It's just a waste of time. As you can see. Because I'm incredible at video games. Chabow! I hear a baby again. I'm not crazy. There's a baby. Oh, wait. Isn't this the one I can't go to? Oh, for god's sake. Just down in. I remember. I've done this so many blimmin' times now. It's up here on the left, right? But I have to fight these guys. Alright, lads. What's that banking? What is that banking? Did you hear that? Am I going crazy? Oh, it's him. Okay then. And there's the safe house. Lovely stuff. Right. Chew on a rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. How did you upload while streaming? Because it's pre-uploaded. It's definitely a baby. It's 100% a baby. I've been saying it's a baby for bloody ages. Right then. What did I need to do? Let's have a little look. Fatigue. You're the one I'm killing. Fatigue, headache, cold. At least. Don't know about this one. Fatigue, headache, cold, cold. Fatigue, headache, cold, cold. Fatigue, headache, headache, cold, cold. Fatigue, headache, cold. Fatigue, headache, headache, cold, cold. Well, I've got fatigue, headache, headache, cold. I have all of these already. <laughs> Literally all of them. Okay, then. Did I? Oh, sweet. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Beautiful stuff. 7.5. Oh, can I do it again? No, we need six good handle parts to max up our hacksaw. And um, what about our steak? I don't really use it that much. Eh, why not? What do we want here? Decrease stamina consumption, add free stun point. Yeah, that's what we want. And again? No, okay, so we need tiny good handle parts and good handle parts. Cool. This is despicable. You should be used to it by now, buddy boy. Okay, with that done, let's head into the main town. Oh, I have to go change my bloody video description. Give me a second. I upload three videos a day in the morning. It's hard to keep track, you know? I can't down. Bloody hell. <laughs>
There we go. Done. Right. Huh. It's locked. Huh. There's so many random little locked doors in this game. I think I have to kill people to get access to a lot of them. So. Okay, who was sick, first of all? Harry, Benjamin, I've got no idea where Shaoshun is. So we're looking for Harry, Ben, or Barrett. Those are the three people we need to keep an eye out for. I think they're all down in this direction. You're level five, aren't you? I'm going to come get you in a minute, buddy. I, I'm only level four, right? Good. Yes. I have heard... Coming back for you. You're a bad man. Barrett, there's Barrett. Barrett, Joe, Harry. Right, let's go cure Harry. Good evening, Harry. We've just established that Harry is upstairs. So, how did that work? That's not science. Oh, be quiet, Harry. I really don't like Harry, but I can't kill him for not liking him. Do you need us? There you go. You'll. Pretty sure that's the second time I've cured this guy. Okay, you, buddy boy, deserve to die, I'm afraid. See if he's got anything worth buying first. Look for good handle parts. Tiny good handle part. Good handle part. What's that? A rivet. Meh. I think that's about it. I'll get that as well. Oh, I have no money left. <laughs> um... I can always sell stuff, it's hardly a big deal. Oh, I can sell all this, actually. I, I don't... Alright, you, pal. You. Dum dum. Dum dum. Dum dum. Dum dum. Dum dum. Bum bum. Bum bum. I never had any luck in my life. And now I die alone. Well, you were a terrible person, so what do you expect, buddy boy? I shouldn't have bought all that stuff from him. Well, I'm not sure I get all his inventory, I'm watching it. It does look like it, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bought it from him. Oops, Daisy. Okay, we're still looking for two people, aren't we? Ben, where's Ben? <sighs> I want to say this way. I can't kill the priest yet. We need to be level 5 for the priest. And we're level 4 at the moment. It's I still hear that baby. It's important that we are curing people. Because we are killing people as well. And that hurts the district. But if I cure people, it should buff the district up. You don't so. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> there you go, pal. Now, where does Shao Shun live? I have no idea where she is. She's in the town somewhere, but God only knows where. Wait, is that it? Is there anyone else who's ill? This dude. Well, I'm not going all the way back there. I'm not going all the way back there, right? But okay, so we can go to town now. We can go where are she meant to go? Sounds like a plan. Back this way. Baby, be quiet, please. Power of suspicion, need to open this from the other side. Nope. Oh, this is where I was before, right? Skulls? They are skulls, aren't they? Ah! 
Whoa! That's new. Apparently they explode now. <laughs> Get around here. How did I get here in the foot? Oh, hello. Reads my. Oh, this is my house. Awesome. Okay, tell you what, we've got a lot of XP. We're gonna go to sleep. Eh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's my house. Very cool. Okay, I have seven thousand XP. We should use it. Abyss. Can I level this up yet? Oh, I definitely can. Is that the one I use? Yeah. That's a lot of XP. I'm not sure it's worth it. That's a lot more damage. If I get this one, it's going to do nearly... Well, 50% more. Just focus on this one first. That one, nope, wait, didn't I say I was going to get health? That's level 5, that's level... Oh, apparently I already did. Okay, good stuff. Stamina is so good in this game. And then we'll level up a bit just once more. Oh, though, Blood Spear. I do use Blood Spear a lot. Ah, level 26. Ah, uh, four more levels to go, okay. That achievement. Turn a district to hostile. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell happens at the hospital? They're all dead. Wait, this wasn't the hospital. This was the. This wasn't a hospital. Obviously, they're all dead. They're all dead. It's not the hospital, that's the, it's the West End. That's the East End, even, Whitechapel. They're all dead. <laughs> Thank God I got a thing. Oh, it means I can't kill the priest. Now, apparently, it does actually get repopulated with new people over time, potentially. But it's because I murdered that guy, um, and it just it just pushed it too far. There are consequences to your actions in this game. I find myself not really caring. Oh, there were some nice people, and my prostitute friend is dead. Joe was dead, Christina's dead, Clayton's dead. Who else did I care about? Xiao Shun's dead. No, the other guy's dead as well. He's just he's missing because of the quest earlier. He's still dead, I think. Is this where I want to go? Yeah. Damn, I've never seen that before. At least this area is healthy. I mean, it's not like I've been eating many people, but I suppose everyone has... I was going to say, I've not even... It's not like everyone I've eaten even came from that area of town, you know? The game proper punished me. Hello, Calhoun. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. Yes, my prostitute friend. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, you are. I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Doctor Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. You are my favorite person in the world. Ever. I may have a look at Let's this. see what you've got, first of all. Good handle pot, that's what we're looking for. Right, I'm going to have to get some money, aren't I? I want a tiny good... Oh my god, that's so expensive. Right, let's sell some stuff. I've got a load of stuff that I've not been using. Let's just tear all this apart.
just realised that this is sell multiple button. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Okay, there we go. Oh, one more time, buddy. Goody. I may have. Uh, oh no. Okay, that's what I want. Bloody hell, that's expensive though. Right, let's talk. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. Hmm. I'm afraid the newspapers are seriously underestimating the situation. Things are critical, believe me. Well, that's news then. <laughs> but I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? I don't really care about this guy because I'm not going to kill him, am I? Because he's a baller. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. Tell me about it. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Je ne sais quoi. But what about the epidemic? Oh, mon The bombs and raids. And all the random violence. Please, sir. This is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll what be there What type of mystical monster do you want to be reborn as? What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. Nice. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. <laughs> what mythical monster would I be if I could be reborn into a mythical monster? A ghost? <laughs> Minotaur would be pretty cool. I could, I could be a pretty baller Minotaur. Minotaur. Do I call it Minotaur? I call it Minotaur. Hydra, maybe? Be down for being a Hydra. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. I mean... I must mm. confess, I have quite specific tastes mm. when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please, share the address. He's a weird dude, but I can't say that means he deserves to die. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. London's lone gourmet? Uh, what a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic. It doesn't existence. even believe it's real. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Oh, good lad. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. You're a good lad. Will you stop being so loud? Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. 
My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I mean, it's hard to understand. She also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I mean, it's hardly bloody sus lizard given my face, but whatever. You sick? You're fine. I think everyone's gonna be fine in this district, but I imagine the wall mesmerize level five as well. So, it's Fingy's uh, daughter. Didn't expect that. What do you think about daughter? this part of town? I was raised here and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? I did indeed. Yes, I was born a few What is poking me? A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in the dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. <laughs> I did answer the question. I think I settled on Minotaur. Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion. But I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, I'll have my death to face. So she's not a vampire. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me. And I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16. Though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. Well, I can't kill you either. You're pretty chill. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Yes. Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Oh, Charlotte, I want to kill her now just because she has your name. Are you a suffragette, then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time, even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? 
what your mother is. Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? She seems pretty chill. Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. I'm in there. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. I wonder how Ashby would react if I killed her daughter. I mean, I can't yet anyway, but if I had that capability, would it change anything? Remember, don't let any strangers come into your house. And yet here you are, banging away on it. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognise your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God! So you survived the war too? So sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. It's my bestie! It's got a migraine. I don't have any migraine treatment. When did you escape the war? to London. You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of <laughs> What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. The epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. Sorry, bestie. Don't worry about it. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Yo, chat, I gave no stipulation as to why I wanted to be a Minotaur if I was going to be rebirthed as a mythical creature. Everyone just assumed it was dick related. I said no such thing. Just point this out though. Is everything alright at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Venus. You forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny. Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Venus? Oh, she's in town. Oh, hello. I still know what I want to kill. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Mullaney's. Yes? What about the Mullaney's? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. 
Well, it's definitely the Milanis. Ah, right. It's the Milanis and someone else got mentioned, didn't they? Who are you, love? Oh, you're that woman. Right, I don't see anyone else in the area. I'm gonna knock off some of these bloody things. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay, let's go west first. This way. And remember, we need. Oh, he's got two things wrong with him migraine and something else. Oh, what you did miss, Fem, is every single person in Whitechapel is dead. Every single one of them. Annihilated. That's healthy, that's critical. We're gonna have the same problem in the docks if I don't go do something about it. I don't think I can. I just killed Barrett and then it went to hell because it dropped into critical state. Well, Barrett deserved to die, Why so... Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Oh, this new stamina bar is so nice. Maybe I need to increase my blood bar, actually, just a little bit. Might start doing that. I cannot stand playing this. I've, I've enjoyed the game, but there's no way I'm playing it again. I killed him because he deserved to be bloody killed. He cheated. Well, he didn't cheat. He, um... Totally unnecessary, this. He, um... He slept with his best mate's wife. Kind of you want. I don't mind what you play with. Shabow! Hello. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Checking out sources of the skull infection. Yeah, it's gone for a joke. Cleanse the first source of infection. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. It's a rough day at the office, isn't it? Bloody Nora. Steal all... I mean, they don't need the stuff anymore. May as well, right? Stop, stop, stop it. Oh, it's a whole joke. Weirdos. This one's neck is broken. He was young. I'm curious about this. Probably the son. We don't know what's causing the skull infection. We've never seen it before. Is it just like one bad boy vampire? Well, I guess we'll find out. Hello? Damn. You thought I was dead too, didn't you? No, I was dead pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. Screw you, chair. Oh, okay. So we're at the Mulaney's at the moment. Oh, that's going to do the bugger well, isn't it? Oh, she's a spitter. I really want to bite her. Well, I am doing. Gonna wail away on her, really.
never seen such a radical mutation. Oh boy! Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? She got any loot? I guess I already got it right. Okay. Gather information in the first source of infection. Is that still in here or where do you want me to go, game? 